So some of the, the significant signs we see around child exploitation actually are changes in behaviour within children. <clears throat> Quite often we see that um, children who've got a, a stable, okay friendship group are in school, are not going missing, behaviour is okay, actually accelerate quite quickly into being secretive, changing their peer group, feeling out of control. The secretiveness is really important because lots of parents perhaps presume that that's part of the normal teenage development, but, but it looks quite different for children being exploited. Uh, sometimes their language changes, their friends change, sometimes they've now got a, a cohort of peer group of older people uh, who've got cars and, and then children start to go missing just not for an hour or so but for, for, for days and overnights as well. Um, what we try to do within the Willow team is form a trusted relationship with children. That's really important so it helps us deal with some of the, the real awful things that happen to children because of this type of exploitation. It is multi-agency and we find that's really important over time. We work very closely with police colleagues and health and education. We work within schools and we try wherever we can to do joint working. It's also about um, education of children. So the grooming line, what it feels like to be in a good, safe, positive, fulfilling relationship rather than one that's abusive. And if children are aware of what that looks like, then they're more able to take decisions that are going to keep them safe within their wider community. We think about the context of children within their communities because what we do know is that most of the child exploitation and abuse doesn't take place within children's homes. It happens outside of the home, within the communities, within school, within places and spaces within the wider community. It's about having that open conversation with your children and about cultivating um, an environment where openness is key and you are able to check your child's phone without it being a particular issue. It's when things like that change that those should be the red lights flagging up for parents to start thinking, actually, this is, this is different, this is not how we, how, we, how we work and behave as a family. Thank you.